Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check for spyware on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I have my iPhone here. I'm gonna walk you through a number of different steps to see if there is spyware installed on your iPhone and what to do about it. But the first thing I would take note of is that the Apple iPhone is a really good example of a closed system that does not let in a lot of spyware. So the App Store is thoroughly reviewed by Apple to make sure all of those apps do not include any malware or spyware or viruses or hacks or anything like that. So unless you've turned on permission for a specific app, most likely something has not already been downloaded and installed on your phone, but there are some things to check to make sure they haven't. So the very th first thing we'll do is we'll open up our settings. And then on here, we're gonna scroll down and tap on general and then iPhone storage. This will show you every single app that is downloaded and installed on your phone. You can sort it by size or you can just sort it by name here. And what we're gonna do is go through this list to make sure you recognize every single app on your phone. And if you don't recognize one, I would recommend deleting it or if you just don't use it. So you can see I can scroll through here and hit show all and I'll be able to see all of these various apps that I have on my phone. Now keep in mind if there's a specific app that you don't remember installing on your phone and you're not sure if it is spyware or not, you can always go into it and delete it just by tapping on it and then tapping the delete button there and that will prevent it from gaining access to your phone. However, that's one way that an app or anything else can gain access to your phone. There are some other ways, so let's go back here and we'll just scroll down until we get to Safari. And then scroll down towards the bottom. Where is it? There it is. Right under block pop-ups is extensions. Let's go into extensions. And essentially these are add-ons to your Safari app. So keep in mind, depending on the developer for these, they could be basically gathering information about your phone, your location, your history, your voice, video, anything like that, that you don't necessarily want them to. So if you see an extension on here that you don't recognize or don't want, make sure you go through the process of deleting. Just tap on it and hit remove or delete. Now that we've checked that, another thing we're gonna check is we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to calendar here and then go to account. You wanna make sure all of the calendar accounts on here as well as the mail accounts are ones that you have created and you have added onto your phone. Now keep in mind there were some calendar glitches or hacks in the past that essentially a subscribe calendar that you might have subscribed to or accidentally downloaded could get on your phone and do some things. So make sure all of these accounts are ones you recognize. And of course, if you don't recognize them, you can just tap on it and hit delete account at the very bottom. Now, we checked Safari, we checked your apps, we've checked the calendar. Let, let's now check your permissions to make sure you're not giving permissions for location, for your voice, for video, anything like that that you don't want. So let's go up and tap on privacy and security. And the first thing we'll do is tap on location services. This will show you every single app that is using your location, either when the app is turned on or just in the background. So you can see that little arrow, the gray arrow indicates in the last 24 hours, it has used your location. And the purple arrow indicates at the very bottom here that it is most recently using your location, like within the last 10 minutes or so. So I would recommend looking at all of these and if you see an app that's using a location and you're not sure why or you don't want it to, make sure you deny that just by tapping on it and hitting never here under allow access to your location. Now let's go back here and set a location services. Let's check a couple other things. Let's check your microphone and make sure there are no apps that are accessing your microphone that you don't want them to. You can always toggle those off. And then let's go into camera. And the same thing, you can toggle off any of these to make sure there's no access to your camera for maps that you don't necessarily want. Of course, if it does have access to the camera, then potentially if you don't trust that app, it could be spying on you and loading up or turning on the camera without your permission. 
Now we've gone through those different steps and we've gone through all of this. You could also go into your health data and see which apps are using your health data and your local network, stuff like that. Basically go through this privacy and security. It's really important to look through all these and make sure everything is turned on that you want to be turned on and turned off where you want it to be turned off. Now let's also go back here and hop out of here and we're gonna type in and search for a potential jailbreak on your iPhone. So let's swipe down and we're gonna type in Cydia, C-Y-D-I-A, which is a really common jailbreak for your iPhone. Now if you type it in and it pops up with there's Cydia on your app itself, then essentially your app or your phone has been jailbroken. You have that Cydia app on there and it opens you up to a bunch of options for viruses, spyware, hacks, malware, all of that stuff. So if that is the case, then I would recommend just restarting and doing a fresh wipe and clean and restarting it to factory default. You can also go into the app store here and tap on your profile at the top right. And as long as you see your app store, your profile, everything looks like this, then you don't have a jailbroken iPhone. And that is not something that you need to worry about in terms of that being a vulnerability for spyware. If you go through all these steps and you still think potentially there is some spyware or viruses or hacks, you can always tap on settings here again. And we'll scroll up, tap on general, scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone, and then you can hit erase all content and settings at the very bottom that will wipe this phone out and restore it to factory default. Now keep in mind, as long as you've backed up your phone, you can just restore everything, but that will ensure any kind of glitches or bugs or cache or anything that might've made its way onto your iPhone is deleted. After you go through all those steps and you still have an issue, I would recommend at that point, taking it into an Apple store and having an Apple representative run diagnostics and check out your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.